What is going on guys, you're back with another video today, it is week 15 in our LA Chargers franchise, we are going against the Broncos, and with a bye week coming up after this game, and the Broncos not really having anything to play for at this point, week 17 could very well decide whether or not we go 16 and oh, I remember one time, did we go 19 and oh, did we lose the Super Bowl, I can't remember, I think it was the Falcons League, were we, I can't remember if we were undefeated that season, but there's a good chance it happens here, and of course, in Denver. Well, not even really in Denver. Just whenever uh, these two teams play each other, it's going to be a rainy game. So, I kind of wish one of us had a, a more snowy-type stadium, uh, or snow, uh, you know, area, I suppose. And Jatavis wasn't going to take it back anyways, but there's, of course, an illegal block in the back. It'd be nice to see in a little snow game, because we obviously are going to see the weather every time, but... It's always going to be rain. One of these years, one of these seasons, it's not going to be raining. But that's not yet. And here goes Hunter Henry getting a nice first down there. First and 10 now looking for, oh, is that someone open? It is Tyrell Williams in the back of the end zone. Looking good for the score from the 24-yard line. Dropping back to throw, and he's under pressure. Joey Bosa with a sack, having a great season, obviously. Third and 19. Aaron Donald brings him down. He does. Down to the five-yard line. And that's going to be a punt. First and ten. Run to the left. Melvin Gordon gets a sea of blockers. Great user by him to bring us down. I thought we were going to break that free, to be honest. Over the middle, Tyree Cleveland gets the first down. A huge one at that as well. First and ten. Another run. Melvin Gordon up the middle. Melvin got lots of blocks. Melvin tries to cut it in. Gets pushed into the end zone for the score. We are now up 14 to zero. Underneath, it's really only only place he had the ball, uh, the ability to throw the ball there. Third and three, trying to run the ball, and I think he's going to be a little bit short, and he is. It's fourth and inches. This kind of looks a little suspicious, and it is. And unfortunately, he can't get there. I think it's because his fullback's a little slower. You got to get a really fast fullback for that to work, and uh, unfortunately. That's not the case. Tyrell Williams, though, and he gets bounced off of into the end zone. That was really just the last look. Look for him last second, and uh, there it is. So underneath, little play for the sack. Third and 16. It's only the first quarter. This team dominates so quickly. I mean, everyone's locking down pretty much. Offense is getting a lot of people wide open. It's just the way it goes, you know? It's just the way it goes. Over the middle, who is that? Is that Tyler Lockett? It is Lockett. Almost broke it all the way free. Falls all the way down to the 19-yard line, though. Second and nine from the 18-yard line. Start of the second quarter. And back of the end zone, Hunter Henry gets the score. I need to start using that kind of route. That route seems pretty damn smooth. It's a couple of plays with that for the main tight end. And, ooh, he barely gets a throw out there. Janoris Jenkins. Kind of on, uh, on the older side, obviously. What a nice little jump, but obviously just misses it. And there's another dime. There he, you know, there he goes. Starting to get on the field a bit. We're down. Uh, down. We're up by 28. Uh, but he's starting to get a bit of a drive. But here, you know, kind of waits for the better play. The better play never comes. So Sue gets a lucky little coverage sack underneath. That was a terrible animation by us. And holy crap, he actually almost slips it out. And he's going to go for it in fourth and one. I'd do the exact same thing. He gets it with the QB sneak. Smart play. Five minutes left in the second. Four minutes now. Third and ten from the 20. Can he convert? Looking for someone open underneath. He may have had him. His uh, quarterback's kind of fast. Can't really get the edge, though. We have that pretty much locked up. And with the wind and the rain, he misses the field goal. Uh, or Yeah, I guess it was a field goal. For some reason, I was thinking extra point, but he misses the field goal. Eight for eight for Jacoby. Hasn't really thrown the ball a whole lot. We haven't really just had that many offensive plays. And it's stuff like that that's the reason why Tyrell Williams even shucks off of a guy. Is that touchdown number three, by the way? I feel like that's touchdown number three. First and ten, the screen, I don't see it one bit. Lavert Hill with a, a lucky little shed there gets the stop. Two minutes left in the second. Looking for the stop. Sue can't quite catch him. Sue's going to get beat, and he's going to out of bounds safely. Uh, second and four now. One minute left in the 31-yard line. Looks like he has another chance to score. Here goes his running back, trying to slip it out, and Janora saves a nice little run. Obviously, it was still good anyways. Second and 14, holding on to him, and that's a bad throw across his body. Uh, third and 14 now from the 24-yard uh, line, 32 seconds left 
Gonna go with five wide, and that was risky. Janoris has been on fire this game. And another missed field goal. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Over the middle, lock it. Tries to spin inside, gets down to the 33-yard line. One time out left. Tyree Cleveland, lock it. Outside, I don't think it's going to get really too open. Or maybe it will. No, it's not. Lock it. Gets the catch. Slips away and goes out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Six seconds left. We have one shot, and we're not going to. Oh, we are going to get it. We're going to be short down to the one, Tyrell. Of course, we get the ball to start of the second half, and the backups will come in. Once again, I forgot. Well, I didn't forget. They just sneakily changed the the uh, rules. No one really knew that you could keep your guys until the fourth. So basically the entire season, other than the playoffs, because uh, I don't think you need to bench anyone in the playoffs. I can't remember. Ooh, that was close. It's Bortles anyways. I don't even care. Uh, but going to have to be a punt. Second and nine to the outside. Perfect throw, and it's going to be a face mask. Lavert Hill gets beat and uh, tries to kill him. So there's there's something for you. Five minutes left in the third quarter, and it's going to be another coverage sack. Four, two, third and 17 from the 47-yard line. And to the outside, uh, Trevor Williams is all over that. And we're going to go down. Oh, my, what the spin. That was a really good spin. That was cool. Eckler to the left side has tons of room. Just outruns him. And going to score, but he doesn't score. Uh, third and goal. We're just going to chuck up a fade. It, I mean, I really don't expect any of this to work. Or it will. <laughs> it looks so bad because I always tell everyone, I'm like, okay, I don't want to score. So I'm just going to just fall down. And on third down, I'm going to fade the guy. I literally tell the person usually who I'm going to fade. And I take the shot, and it usually doesn't work. What a throw, but Jatavis all over that. The man himself. Eckler cutting it to the right side. Eckler falling forward. He's still going. What a beast. Eckler is good enough to be a starter. I don't know why no one grabbed him in free agency. I don't know why no one ever tried to trade for him. What a hit on Gates, by the way. Holy crap. Chubb with five tackles and a forced fumble. Eckler inside. Oh, my God. There goes another fumble. Unbelievable stuff. Eckler was so good. Still pretty good, but two fumbles. Actually, no, the other one was Gates, wasn't it? One fumble. I got pass interfered to hell by my own guy. I don't know who number 22 is, but he's really good at breaking tackles, but he seems a little slow. Either way, good enough to get the first down. Second and 14 from the 20-yard line now. Underneath, Hill gets burned. And Inwosu is going to make the coverage tackle down to the 10. Uh, third and three. Back of the end zone, well overthrown. I think Levert was all over it anyways. Here he's going to kick the field goal, and you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. How do you miss that, mate? I don't know if there's lag. What's the story? Third and four, we're going to take one, uh, take a shot deep. Perfect throw by Bortles, if we're going to be honest. Uh, Tyree Cleveland just straight up drops it, and he gets hammered by Sue for number three. Underneath, it's going to be picked off by Moses, my favorite guy. That should be number 12 on the season. Third and eight, though, from the 44-yard line. We didn't do anything with it, obviously. Didn't even put up points, like I said. I don't try to do that. So running back is going to get a decent gainer. Booker, I believe, is the guy it is. Second and 12. I make a huge mistake with Donald, but Donald gets him anyways for his second sack of the game. For the 14, this is most likely the game. If he does not convert... Donald forces the ball, and that will end the game. Another dominating performance from the LA Chargers. That's a cool little uh, screenshot or snapshot. I never put those on, by the way. I think you can put them on for when you're scrolling through the menus, and I just don't. I, I don't really care. Look at that. That is creepy. Imagine having that. Aaron Donald right behind you, chasing you. Probably the scariest thing you could possibly have in your, in your entire life. And you could be staring down the barrel of a gun and still be like, nah. I'll take that over Aaron Donald. <laughs> Aaron Donald's a guaranteed kill. I'm not having it. Uh, but, of course, we win the game. And, like I said, with the bye week, we're going to be going 15-0. and The Eagles game decides the undefeated season. Obviously, the playoffs, you kind of have to finish it there as well. But one step at a time, as uh, Jordan Sparks told me. I don't know. Jacoby had a pretty damn perfect game. Didn't really have to throw a whole lot, though. 13 attempts. With Jacoby rushing. I don't think Melvin did very well. But it's just because I don't have motivation to run it because he's old. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. 
Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, I'm gonna have to see ya!